There are two primary mechanisms that help explain why blood flow restriction can be highly effective for muscle development, metabolic stress and cell swelling. Metabolic stress is the buildup of metabolites within the muscle. During exercise, the buildup of metabolites can occur due to chemical reactions involved in energy production. With blood flow restriction, due to the compression of veins by the cough, these metabolites cannot escape and this can accelerate muscle fatigue, requiring you to exert more effort and thus recruit more muscle fibers, which is beneficial for overall muscle growth. Moreover, significant metabolite buildup would occur more so in fast twitch than slow twitch fibers, as fast twitch fibers tend to produce energy via methods that produce significant metabolite accumulation, and so significant metabolic stress is an indication of fast twitch fiber recruitment, which is good as these types of muscle fibers have the greatest hypertrophy potential. Metabolites can also cause the perception of pain and discomfort due to afferents, which are nerve cells that signal from the muscle to the nervous system. Thus, pain and discomfort are positive indicators you're creating a powerful muscle building stimulus during blood flow restriction. Cell swelling is the pump. This occurs when veins are significantly compressed, preventing blood flow from the muscle to the heart, while arteries still continue flowing blood from the heart to the muscle. This results in the buildup of fluid within and around muscle fibers. Metabolite buildup can also draw additional fluid within fibers, intensifying the pump. Thus, cell swelling and metabolite accumulation are linked. Cell swelling is an indicator of significant work and effort. Swelling itself has been associated with increases in muscle protein synthesis. Moreover, having fibers that can swell is a good thing, as fibers that cannot swell likely have impaired responses to training. Thus, blood flow restriction is a great avenue to get fibers to swell. To learn more, go to bfrtraining.com.